I'm on my second second stick of butter here. Because anytime you get Joel's butter, you know that stuff's good. He wasn't named chef of the century for nothing. work actually and I loved the meeting the night how he sent the dish back because it had an egg on it and then they all like huddle up and they're like all right who messed up and then they go around and they're like was it you okay was it you was it you and they're all like you know very who was that what do you think being so close to the kitchen fun yeah. It reminds me of when we were at Vespertina, we walked through the kitchen and you could kind of watch kind of what was going on. I got the tasting menu, vegetarian tasting menu, um, without the egg. I ordered two things. I did not get the tasting menu. Um, I'm not exactly sure what I ordered. It's like a trust fall. I told you about Joel before. Um, there's nothing that can go wrong. Innocent until proven otherwise. So we do the trust fall for Joel, and uh, we're in good hands here. So trust fall right into the bread basket with eight pieces of bread. You could trust fall into foie gras, or you can trust fall into a bread basket because it's the French. It's just like a starter soup. It's not even on the menu. It's just like the welcome gift, which is delightful. Reminds me a little bit of like a, a sweet and sour soup. Parmesan cloud. Pretty much what it is. Warm cloud, by the way. potatoes. The secret, secret mashed potatoes. Look at that. There it is. That means that I'm not just here for me, I'm here for you. Which is what? true. We're here for you guys. What? Very nice. It's a nice dish. Very um, complex in the flavors. It's not like it's not something that tasted, but it's very, very French. You can tell there's butter in it, which I expect nothing less. I like to eat vegan as much as possible, but at a French restaurant, I'm not going to say no to butter. It'd be unrecognizable. Wow. That's nice. <laughs> Never thought polenta could be so good. You never said it was that good. I did. I thought it was that good. <laughs> well, that one was coated in like a 10 year Parmesan too. So, I got I got Milan all the way down to Rome, wrapped around my tongue right there on that bike. But honestly, the polenta, you were gonna send this back? I wasn't gonna send it back, I was gonna give it to you and share it with you. Aww. Aww. Turmeric 
there's, it's like a spicy kind of aioli, but with a cream of artichoke. I love artichoke. Now I'm wondering why, why I never had this before. I love this. One of your favorites? Yeah. Is it maybe. your favorite way to have artichokes? Yeah, maybe one of my favorites. Time. The artichoke was singing in a bath of mustard. This, they have these exact same ones at Joel Robuchon. I remember. Maybe we'll show you the picture. The little um, dollops of butter. Lovely. What did you order? I have no idea. <laughs> it looks a little lovely. There's the mashed potatoes. We were excited for them. We were waiting for the mashed potatoes. We love Joel mashed potatoes. Oh my gosh. Finally. Okay, so now we're so much going on. <laughs> They dropped off mashed potatoes. Cauliflower, broccoli, and a salad. Oh, no. It's beautiful cauliflower, which is yeah, yeah, beautiful. Our first time we went to Joel Robuchon, it was Thanksgiving. We thought that was the reason they brought us mashed potatoes, but it turned out Joel Robuchon truly believed that every person that ever came into his restaurant should have his mashed potatoes. So we didn't order them, they just bring them. So it's a full lobster, but but we've been baked. It's stuffed, stuffed. It's like Christmas stuffing, Thanksgiving stuffing here, and and obviously it's a full lobster. So let's try the stuffing. Honestly, I've never had lobster like this before. The most perfect stuffing inside of a lobster with extra butter. And you didn't even try it with the mashed potatoes yet. Yeah, okay, here's the mashed potatoes. Joe Wells' personal recipe, mashed potatoes. Guys, we watched uh, full documentaries on these mashed potatoes on Netflix and on YouTube. You should check them out too. For the record, look at me go. Would it be a French restaurant if they didn't start and finish with uh, bread? So, you know, that's, that's a French restaurant for you. Fantastic meal. Fantastic date. So stuffed. That's so good. Stuffed is how I like her. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. It's been fun. It has been so fun. Our last stop on our France journey is a place that's nice. It's very nice. If you're American, it's nice. If you're French, it's nice. But honestly, you can't miss up the opportunity to fly out of a huge international airport and go somewhere fun. So we're gonna go to Malta first. <laughs> 